Hi, I'm Curly Sue. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making for you vegan curry goat. Now, some of you may know this and some of you may not know that my parents are from Jamaica. I was born and raised in London, England, but my parents are from Jamaica and I grew up eating Jamaican food. So I also lived in Jamaica from age five until I was 10. So I was born in London and then my parents moved me and my sisters to Jamaica for about four or five years and then we moved back to London and that's where I've lived ever since. So I have a strong Jamaican influence on the food that I cook. I became a vegan, I wasn't brought up a vegan. I became a vegan when I was 18, yeah, 18 years old, uh, no, I became a vegetarian when I was 18 and I became a vegan nine years ago next month at the time of making this video. So November 2021, I will have been vegan for nine years and I'm enjoying it. So I'm sharing with you some vegan Jamaican recipes today. We're going to make vegan curry goat and we're also going to have that with some really nice mashed sweet potato with a little kick, not kick, not a spicy kick, but with a little flavour, with the flavour turned up, that's what. So, let's first of all go through the ingredients, then we'll go through the method, then we'll taste it, you know how it goes. Okay, so let's get on with making these tasty dishes. So for the ingredients, you're going to need vital wheat gluten, brown lentils, yeast flakes, onion powder or onion granules, garlic powder or garlic granules, all-purpose seasoning, nutmeg, salt, black pepper, coriander powder, and half a cup of water. For the curry part of it, coconut oil, one small onion diced, four cloves of garlic, one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, one small sweet potato, two tablespoons mild curry powder, one teaspoon pimento, one bay leaf, three to four sprigs of thyme, one spring onion, one to two scotch bonnet peppers, two cups of vegetable stock. Put the cooked brown lentils into a large bowl, make sure you drain it after you've cooked it, and then just mash them. To the mixture add the vital wheat gluten, yeast flakes, garlic powder, nutmeg, salt, pepper, onion powder, coriander powder, all purpose seasoning and then the half a cup of water. Stir that around until it forms into a dough and then knead it for about five minutes. Cut into one inch size pieces, about like this, and then do that for the whole mixture and then set that aside. In a pan, melt the coconut oil like I have done here, and then you're going to add the onion and the garlic. So here's the onion. the 
garlic and let that cook for about two minutes until it's a bit soft. Next you're going to add the curry powder and give that a stir. Then you're going to add the seitan pieces. Fry that for another two minutes just so that it combines with the curry powder. If you need to add a little extra oil, if it's starting to dry out a bit. Add the red pepper and the green pepper. Then add the thyme, bay leaf, spring onion. Add your vegetable broth to two cups. And then put your scotch bonnet pepper in. You're not going to open it because if you open it it will be very peppery but if you just put it in and don't open it it will have a nice flavour. Add the sweet potato. Gently stir. Then you're going to cover and let that cook for about 30 minutes on a low heat. Check on the mixture every sort of 10 minutes to make sure it hasn't dried out and if it has dried out a little bit add a tiny bit more water but just make sure it doesn't dry out. So after half an hour this is what it will look like and now we're going to make our mashed sweet potato. For the mashed sweet potato, you're going to have to add two and a half cups of plant milk to the pot. And let that come to a boil. Add the sweet potato. Make sure there's the milk covers all of the so it's enough here, so it does just about cover it all. Just move them around so that they submerge, they're fully submerged in the plant-based milk. So we're going to put a lid on this and then leave it to cook for about 25 minutes. So once the potatoes are boiled, drain them and then keep back about a cup full of the milk because you're going to need that later. So place the cooked sweet potato in a bowl and add the butter, the garlic and the chopped parsley and then mash it. And you can use a fork or a potato masher like I'm using here as well. 
So you've reserved back some of the milk that you boiled the potato in. You can use that to add to this if it's a bit too dry. But if it's not, then it's fine. You can leave it as it is. So this is really good because it's low carb because you know that sweet potatoes are not a complex carb for hydrate. So this is really good if you are watching your weight or trying to take off some of those lockdown pounds. So there we have our vegan curry goat and here is our sweet potato mash with garlic and butter. So just put them side by side. So all that's left now is to try them. So that's our vegan curry goat. So I'm just gonna try some now. Mmm, 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 mmm. Definitely. and our sweet potato mash with garlic. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Hit the red button and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more videos just like this one. Eat good. Eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.